20 million people are not garbage. I can tell you who the real garbage is, but we won't say that. Democrats have done a very poor job. We're leading in every in every state. Uh, we're leading big. And I think that the comment made by really both of them, because there are really two of them, uh, about being garbage, maybe 250 million people, uh, they shouldn't be talking. That's like deplorable for Hillary. This is the deplorable for Hillary. And uh, I think this is worse, actually. For Joe Biden to make that statement, it's really a disgrace. And I think 250 million people in this country are going to be very happy because we're going to bring the country back. We're a nation in decline, very, very serious decline. And we're going to bring our country back. I love Puerto Rico and Puerto Rico loves me. I don't know. I don't know anything about a comedian. I just I love Puerto Rico. Nobody's done more for Puerto Rico than me. I, I took care of them when they had the big hurricanes. And nobody, nobody gets along better with Puerto Rico and the Puerto Rican people than me. They love me and I love them. I don't know anything about the comedian. I don't know who he is. I've never seen him. Uh, I heard he made a statement, but it was just a statement that he made. He's a comedian. What can I tell you? I know nothing about him. I don't know why he's there. You put comedians up and uh, I guess he went on earlier in the show. I don't know who he is. How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. But I just wanted to let you know that 250 million people, that's what I think the real number is for making America great again. 250 million, the real number. They don't think in terms of garbage, okay? They don't use terms like that. And it's a shame. And Joe Biden should be ashamed of himself if he knows what he's even doing. Donald Trump has no character. He doesn't give a damn about the Latino community. He's failed businessman. He's, he only cares about the billionaire friends he has and accumulating wealth for those at the top. You know, he says immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country. Give me a break. He wants to do away with the birthright citizenship. Who the hell has said that in the last hundred years? And just the other day, a speaker at his rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. Well, let me tell you something. I don't, I, I don't know the Puerto Rican that, that I know or Puerto Rico where I'm in my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization of Latinos is unconscionable, and it's un-American. It's totally contrary to everything we've done, everything we've been. This week, Kamala has been comparing her political opponents to the most evil mass murderers in history. And now, speaking on a call for her campaign last night, Crooked Joe Biden finally said, 
what he and Kamala really think of our supporters. He called them garbage. No way. No way. <laughs> and they actually mean it, even though without question, my supporters are far higher quality than Crooked Joe or Lion Kamala. Higher quality. Kamala and Joe call all of us, and them, even them, garbage. I call you the heart and soul of America. You are the heart and soul. You built our country. You know? You built our country. You built it. Far more than they built it, I can tell you that. You built it. And by the way, I want to thank all of our incredible sanitation workers all across America. Because they work hard, they really do work hard. And they do an incredible job, and they don't get the credit they deserve, like our police, like our firefighters, like so many others. They don't get the credit, but everybody knows we love them, and everybody knows they deserve the credit, and they will get the credit. And with us, we appreciate them. And one of my people came in and said, Sir, you know, the word garbage is the hottest thing right now out there. The hottest thing out there, sir, would you like to drive a garbage truck? So look, so the stair, the first stair is like up here. I'm saying, shit. So, so I had the adrenaline going and I made it. I made it. And then I gave a little news conference from the front of the, you know, they asked their wise guy questions and everything. And then uh, we drove about two feet. I got out, got in the car. And then I got in the car and I'm driving over here and I have this still on. And I come into the arena and I say, where's my jacket? I want to get out of this thing. And they said, it would be unbelievable if you could wear it on stage. I said, and I said, no way. I got 25,000 people standing outside. I got all these people here. There's no way I'm wearing it on stage. They said, oh, okay, sir. I said, get me my jacket. But if you did, you know, it actually makes you look thinner. I said, oh. And they got me. I said, I want to wear it on stage. When they said I look thinner, I said, in that case, I'll wear it on stage. For the past nine years, Kamala and her party have called us racist. Bigots, fascists, deplorables, irredeemables, Nazis, and they called me Hitler. They bullied you. They've demonized us. They've censored us. They've deplatformed us. And they weaponized the power of our own government against all of us. They've taken your money. They've thrown open your borders to criminals and terrorists. They've flooded your towns with deadly drugs and death. And I want to give a special thanks to a man that you may not have heard of, Brett Favre, because And his great family. What a beautiful boy. What a beautiful family. But this is especially that man, does he have a hand, you know? This guy shook my hand. His fingers are like sausages. No wonder he can throw the ball so hard. There was nobody like him, really. I've watched him throw those 500-yard games like it was nothing. He was flinging it. He didn't throw it. He flung it, right? Thank you, Brett. What a great honor. What a great champion. What a great job.